hello everyone and welcome to my channel i'm going to show you how i did this absolutely stunning bloom blow out um, it's a shelly art bloom technique i use house paint in this technique and um, i share all my colors and my technique and I'll also show you how i blow out those petals so stay tuned for this video and thank you once again for being here i'm working on a 40 by 50 centimeter canvas today and i'm going to lay down a pillow which is essentially a base but we call it a pillow um, in this uh, shelly art technique I've mixed up 650 grams of house paint and I've added 70 grams of regular tap water um, just to thin it down. This house paint is quite thick. I buy it by the gallon or the 5 litre as we know it. I'm going to show you what I use. It's a Durham Wall Sheen Low Sheen paint and you can get it at your hardware store. So um, let me lay down the pillow. Just spread it around the canvas. I don't go over the edges yet because I will be spinning out this, um, this painting. And the spinning action causes the paint to spread out across the canvas. So you don't have to uh, spread the paint um, initially when you start. When you lay down your pillow, you don't have to pour it over or until the edges because the spinning action will spread it out for you so you just need to have a um, a nice amount of paint on your canvas uh, quite a, a thick layer so um, so that you have uh, enough for the bloom blowout and also for the stretching so I leave a little paint in my container for touch-ups um, later on as you will see how I use the excess and before I lay down my colors I have to pop the air bubbles and this is a butane torch it's a kitchen torch um, and you can also get that at your hardware so this is the only time that I torch my paint I only torch my pillow paint I don't use the torch again in this technique so I'm going to start um, laying down some puddles of color on top of that pillow and then I'm going to blow out um, the, the blooms. So this, this part of my painting is only to get the background laid down. So this is a deconstructed bloom. I'm not looking for any flower shapes yet. This is just hard blowing. But all I want to see now is just color as a background. So I start with the sap green and then I layer some metallic gold. And um, I'm laying down a pearl white on top of that gold now. My colors are locally accessed um, paints, local, locally manufactured brands. So in this... Um, I'm using Zalcraft paints, I'm using Dala paints and I'm also using a Crazy Craft paint. Um, those colors they work really well for the bloom technique. Not all the paints that I've used worked well but I find that those colors work well. So I'm laying down a cell activator on top of that pearl white and this is a green yellow from Amsterdam mixed with the uh, pouring medium specifically for uh, for your colors I have a video which I have done a complete video on how to mix paints for the Shelly art bloom technique and I'm going to put up a link for you now so if you want to go and watch and see how I've mixed up paints for Shelly art blooms using South African products then please go and have a look at that video so I've laid down a tiny bit of black cell activator as well. And now I'm topping that off with a white cell activator. So this cell activator does not have any silicone additives in it. It is made with Amsterdam paint and Floetrol. So my blow dryer is a very lightweight blow dryer. It's got a louver front fitting, 
which guides the airflow and I use it on a low speed first just to position and spread the cell activator over the colors and then I switch to a high airflow and I do that for each of those puddles I start off with a low airflow or a low air speed and then I switch over to a high air speed just to spread out those colors and to create some cells on top of that pillow and I do that for all of those puddles so once I'm done blowing that out I go back to the very first puddle that I blew out and now I'm spreading the paint from the middle part of that puddle I'm blowing out the edges now so I blow out the edges outward from the center and I do that for each one of those puddles um, at this point I'm not looking for any composition I'm just wanting to get those puddles spread out with a blow dryer across that white pillow paint that we laid down very first at the beginning of this painting. So once I've got the puddles all blown out, it's time to spin the canvas so that that pillow together with the puddles can be spread out across all four sides of this canvas and I give it a few hard spins so that that paint um, has um, you know enough ability to spread the centrifugal force of the spinning creates an action that pushes that paint outwards and over those edges so I'm happy with my background that's exactly what I'm looking for a deconstructed bloom there's got to be no petal shapes in it I just wanted color spread all over so now I'm adding a little bit more of that pillow that I kept back in the container and I'm adding the colors again this time it's for the bloom blowout where you're going to see a specific flower shaped bloom so I start off with a sage again I've added the gold and now I'm adding a purple remember these are all local brands so you will find those colors in the brands that's available for you in your country the purple I topped off with a periwinkle and then I added a rose gold and now I'm going to do the cell activators again. That is the green yellow. I'm going to do a pearl white. Um, that's a paint color. Some black cell activator. And right on top I'm going to put some white cell activator. This time I'm using a lot more cell activator on the puddle. Because I want to see a lot more cell action. So bringing back the blow dryer again. I'm positioning it over the puddle, first on a low E, switching to a high E flow to spread it out nicely. And then I'm going to carefully blow out six petals to give me a bloom, to give me a flower shape, which we call a bloom. So that's three, four, that's five petals and a last petal six. So this is... Colors are coming out very, very soft um, and that's perfectly okay. I am happy with what I'm seeing, but I'm not stopping here. So I'm going to blow out quite a number of those blooms on this canvas and I hope that you're enjoying this process with me, that you will follow my channel by subscribing to my channel today and joining me on this journey and uh, and that you will also you know get out your paints and your canvases and mix up your colors and join me in uh, blowing out some beautiful bloom uh, Shelley art bloom um, blowouts please uh, comment in this comment section below if you're enjoying my video if you have any questions please ask those questions I'd be happy to assist where I can so uh, thank you to everyone for stopping by for watching this video I hope that you find value in it 
and that it inspires you. So I'm going to fast track you through some of the parts of the video coming up, but I'm also going to add some beautiful music for you to enjoy. I'll speak to you again towards the end, and I'm also going to give you your close-up, so stay tuned for that. So if you're still with me and still watching my video, thank you so much. I'm going to give you your close-up view now. Take care everyone. Stay well until the next video. Goodbye for now.